today. Another SG update and a student arrested for battery on campus. That's all coming up right here on Spinnaker News. I'm Taylor Johnson. You're watching Spinnaker News on Spinnaker Television. In a nine-minute punitive action hearing, the student government's Supreme Courts came to an agreement for Senate President Caitlin Ramirez. The only reprimand was requiring Ramirez to submit a report of an internal policy that will prevent records from being posted past their deadline. Here's what Attorney General Matthew Harris said at the hearing. Through her inactions and her actions, has made a mockery of our judicial process and student government in general and as such has violated the public confidence by allowing our public records law to be violated, um, this being the fourth time, only the second time that it has actually been brought into this chamber. Here's what Ramirez said at the hearing. Senate President Wilson Ford Walker, as Senate Secretary to the Public Senate said, is the one responsible, and according to our current statute, it still says the Constitutional Statute Chair is responsible for updating, but this is indeed a serious matter. This is something that is not meant to be a disrespect to the student body whatsoever. Associate Chief Justice Ben Yeager recommended that the council mandate the report as opposed to issuing a recommendation. This report is due to the justices by 10 a.m. on November 26th. A female UNF student was arrested on November 14th for slapping a man in the face. This all occurred in the UNF arena. According to UPD, the victim reported the incident at 12 a.m. He said the suspect struck him with an open palm to the left side of his face. The report doesn't indicate whether or not they knew each other before the incident. The victim said the suspect told him to stop cussing before she slapped him. The officer tried to find the woman by knocking on her dorm room and calling her. He left her a voicemail telling her to contact UNFPD as soon as possible. When the officer found her, she said she lost control and slapped the victim. UNFPD arrested her for battery and she was sent to Duval County Jail and booked at 4.23 a.m. All right, Ospreys, it's time to see if the weather's going to warm up. Let's toss it over to Alex Kratz. Good morning, Ospreys, and happy Friday. I hope you're ready for some warmer weather this weekend. I'm Alex Kratz here with your Spinnaker weather update. So far, it seems as if we're warming up from this freeze we've had the past few days. As you can currently see, it is sunny, and the high will be 65 degrees. While this isn't particularly warm, we are able to break away from the low 50s we've experienced this past week. Winds may make today feel cool colder, though, but on Saturday and Sunday, temperatures should warm up to the low and mid-70s, with some slight chances of rain throughout the weekend. Heading on over to Surf, Surfline says that we can expect 1-2 to two foot waves and poor conditions out near Jack's Pier this morning. But later on this afternoon, bigger surf should develop. Think about this and the cooler water temperatures if you're wanting to surf or paddleboard. Well, that's it for today's weather update. Now let's take a look at your three-day forecast. Thanks, Alex, for that weather update. And now for a sports report on the games last night, let's toss it over to Alex Gatlin. Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Alex Gatlin. Here's your Spinnaker Sports Report. The volleyball team took on crosstown rival JU last night in the first round of the A-Sun Tournament. The Ospreys got off to a great start as they took the first set 25-19, but the team would struggle the rest of the night as they dropped the second, third, and fourth sets. The final score was three sets to one. The men's basketball team was in action last night as they traveled to Northwestern. The team was tied 67 when Northwestern's Trey Demps hit a dagger with two seconds left to seal the win for the Wildcats. As you can see in the replay, Trent Mackey played great defense, but Demps knocked it down anyways. The team returns to action tomorrow as they take on Nor Northern Iowa. Game time is set for 2 p.m. Well, that's it for your sports today. Let's toss it back to Taylor at the desk. Thanks, Alex. Well, that's all the time we have for you today on Spinnaker News. But for more on the stories reported today and other stories, you can check out unfspinnaker.com. You can also like the Spinnaker on Facebook at facebook.com slash unfspinnaker. And you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at unfspinnaker. For Alex Kratz and Alex Gatlin, I'm Taylor Johnson. Have a great day, UNF.